without further ado, down here in the, the bottom right. In the red, playing as the Terran Pieces from Dragon Phoenix Gaming. Give it up. It is Cure. And in the top left, in the blue, playing as the Protoss Pieces from Team Envy. It is Creator. So, Cure just got done playing a TVP. Is now having to play another TVP. Now, if Creator was paying attention, if he was watching, he kind of has an idea of what Cure wants to go for. But the thing, too, is... Cure's TVP is pretty strong, so even if it was scouted, Creator might still have a difficult time. Now, also... Creator is a very different Protoss from uh, Parting. Parting is very, like, I guess you would consider it unorthodox. So, I'm interested to see what builds Creator pulls out. Uh, I imagine, you know, some Immortals, maybe, like, a Stalker play. He does like to do Blink Stalkers. So, let's we'll see. Expansion coming out from Creator. As he is just trying to get a good scout and, and see what Jira is wanting to go for. Now, this is a best of five final, so you could get cheeky, maybe throw a game away, if anything, and just kind of see where your opponent is at. Um, especially, you know, if Kyr just got done playing, he may be a little bit tired, where Creator has had a little bit of a, a break between these. So we'll see. We'll see kind of where he wants to go with this. Cybernex Core down for Creator. As Cure going into his own expansion. It's going to be a factory follow up. So it looks like Cure will be going into uh, possibly some Hellions. And do maybe like a Hellion drop. It is something that Terrans are liking to do. And on a map like Romanticide, you have this really big base, a nice little dark area that doesn't always get taken. So definitely a possibility for that. I did a bunker is laying down, especially when you just get done playing a part, a player like party. Um, you definitely are like, um, okay, I just need to be ready for a big attack. <laughs> uh, so creator going into Stargate behind this. Hmm. Let's go into a depth Phoenix. This is something that we have been seeing come back recently. It's just like a depth Phoenix style play. Uh, eventually go into like glaives and just just keep pressing yeah he's gonna go into phoenix um does it i think kind of the if you're not going mass phoenix i think like five or six phoenix is kind of where you stand and then you transition out of that uh, so we'll see if he does that and cure does have those hellions Going into mines behind this, so I, I guess he is just going to go into a mine drop. Just using the mobility of those Hellions to scout, see is there any proxies, anything coming my way that I need to be worried about. It's going to be four Widow Mines. Definitely a possibility. I like that Creator does have this pylon out, just to keep an eye on it, and with the help of the Phoenix, it does put him in a position to be able to kind of defend this. Adding on a robotics facility behind all of this. Does look like Creator will eventually start going into maybe like a mortal. I think that's kind of where you follow up with this, right? And yeah, Hellion's going to come down. We'll be able to at least kind of see where everything is at. Maybe get in and deal some damage and force a, a big pile up. Yeah, unfortunately with the Adepts, so we'll get pushed back. Cure looking to go into the main base. Does at least force the Adepts out of the way. And the Phoenix are in position. We'll be able to start throwing down the Widow Mines. Two of the Phoenix do get caught with the Widow Mines at harm. He does get two probes, but ends up losing the Medivac. Loses the. Uh, the Phoenix, or excuse me, the, the Widow Mines here. Yeah, that's one of the tough things against this, and it's I think why that style has kind of come back recently is because of Terrans doing, like, mind drops and stuff. Banshee is a follow-up. Very weird. 
Um, he is going into Cyclone behind this with that upgrade with the, uh, what's it called? The Magnum, Magnum PI upgrade. Um, especially when there's Ban- or excuse me, when there's Phoenix. I guess maybe he's hoping that there's no detection with this. We already see the shield battery down, and I think he already has some observers. Yeah. I don't know, it's a really interesting com combination here. Is he going into mech? Are we seeing Cure go into mech and Protons? Interesting. Uh, so Depth is hanging out to the front. Cure going around with the... Um, with the Banshee. The other Banshee probably going to go down towards the bottom. Now, it does look like Creator is stopping the Phoenix production and going into Robotics Bay and a Forge. So kind of going into the upgrades and stuff like that. Um, he will at least see the Banshees coming. Hmm. Marine? Marine Cyclone. Wow. Third base on the way. He is. He's going into Matt. Interesting. Magfield Accelerator. Magnum PI. Whatever. Same thing. Coming out. There's Tank. Not kind of gives himself away of what he's doing, but I, I like the the marine style, right? Especially against the Phoenix. Uh, they do pretty well against it. There's still a Banshee at the bottom. Not really getting too much done. Marines and the, uh, the Cyclone will be able to push away the Phoenix at least, so. Bad. Very nice. All right. Third base, or excuse me, fourth base was about to be on the way, but the Banshee able to clean things up. Phoenix are going to be coming back. There's a little bit of a time for the uh, the Banshee to clean up. Let's get it four kills. So not bad, not bad at all. There's going to be additional factories. Oh man, I like this. I like this so much from Cure. I might have to steal this, but I think it kind of only works against uh, what Creator is doing here. Blink on the way. Send Thermal Lance for the Protoss as fourth base does finally come down. Let's have an additional robotics facility. So really wants to go heavy onto that. Uh, and creator with the with the vision. Really gonna be able to see anything coming across, doing anything too crazy. Yeah. So good. Alright, CC almost done. Actually gets picked up there. We'll be forced back as Cure is just essentially playing, I guess, defensively until he can get to a good mass. This does give an opportunity here for Creator to start building up. He's going into those um, disruptors knowing that it is going to be some kind of mech. Which is actually really nice. Um, I think it's a perfect choice to go against the Terran. Especially now you kind of have an idea, but... Will it really matter? I mean, the good thing is, is like, Terran Army does kind of plump up pretty bad when it's mech like this. Hmm. Let's see. Link almost finished up. Plus two is on the way. As well as just more upgrades. Do you have that Gravatic, uh, Gravatic Beam? So it does look like Creator wants to go in for the attack down here at the bottom, but there are tanks in position. Uh, so it should be too much done. I guess with the Phoenix, though, you could get in here and potentially just pick this up, right? We'll see. Fourth base going up towards the top. Tanks can get a couple of good shots off. Not able to get any kills, but does at least back off Creator for the time being as he tries to reform himself around. There is some zealots for a nice little counterattack. Uh, yeah. Do 
Beautiful split up though here from Cure Creator. Has to be careful, like, this army is pretty good if he can get the shots off, but if it stays clump up like that, with as many tanks as there is, he'll find himself in some trouble. Let's get a scan off and see kind of where the army is here. Ugh. Marine Hellion Cyclone. Just insane. Does look like you're ready to go across the map. We'll force Creator back home. Does have the service upgrade and the the, uh, the Widow Mine upgrade coming through. Grilling Claws. Ooh, some good, good disruptor shots. Actually damages a lot of those tanks, killing off some of the Cyclones as well. Really makes us unworthy. Blinking back as the tanks try to get some good damage off the Hellbats. Not going to get really any connections. And now the Zealots are on top of all this. All it is going to get cleaned up, but more Cyclones, more Widow Mines coming across the map. Same time, these Adepts are getting some damage done. Going to be able to supply block. Oh no, you won't even supply block. I'm a silly goose. Yeah. So it does put Cure kind of in a weird position. Um, I don't know. It, it, it's it's interesting, right? He's still got quite a bit of tanks to go across, but Creator now going into this kind of heavy Zealot style army. Does have a DT Shrine done. And he is going into Blink DT, so it could present a really uh, tough situation for Cure. And the fact with DTs being done and having that DT Blink, it's really going to allow him to get on top of these tanks in a flash. There we go. Gonna attack down towards the bottom. Most of the army here at Fort Cure is down across the map. Looks like his tanks are at home though. So going to force a re siege. Kind of re split everything up. Ugh. Able to kill off seven SCVs with that disruptor shot. Does look like finally he is gonna return back home. But plus three on the way now for Cure. Blink now going to be done. That Shadow Stride upgrade really will kind of help creator get on top of this army i mean really those tanks are going to be the hit or miss in this composition it's just kind of going into a kind of a battle mech style but it is very much like i don't know kind of a reform style it feels like here we go we'll at least get up towards this fourth or fifth base here um there's a sixth base on the way tank's gonna siege up try to get into a good concave Yeah, looks like he will be able to at least get this fifth base. Um, that's really going to be the big key, right? He needs to keep everything spread out, especially his tanks. And those tanks are so easy to just clump up like that. Oh, no. He's got to be careful. Okay, I think he does see... No, he doesn't. He doesn't see this, but he is going to get at least uh, siege up in time. 15 probes do go down. The other side, though, Zealot's going to be trying to clean up across the map. No hits as of yet. It does look like eventually this is going to get cleaned up across the map as Creator loses another base. Going back down two, four bases behind this. Cure has taken another base to try to deal with this. Another attack going up towards the top as Creator struggling to kind of find where he needs to go. He is going to go into... Oh man, he's going to go into Carriers. I don't know how much I like this. Okay. One, carriers are fantastic. Oh my god, so many dead probes. Uh, carriers are fantastic. Cyclones are fantastic. Cyclones lock onto these like crazy. Ooh, good. Good disruptor shot. Or uh, mine hits, excuse me. Let's take out another base. So it is now back down to a three base Protoss and, and really less than that because it's only two mineral patches there. I only got eight there. So he has one, no full bases right now. He does have this bottom base, which is building, and could possibly mine from. But I guess it's kind of the same situation, almost on Cure's side as well. Here we go. A couple of carriers are alive. 
Cyclone's not going to be able to get the connections that they want to. The Disruptor's going to eliminate a good chunk of the army here. So many SEs do go down across the map, though. There is a nice counterattack going on with those Hellions, with those uh, Cyclones. Going to go straight towards the natural, straight towards the third. Does have to give out a scan for the DTs that are making their way. Uh, the big problem... Oh, okay. He's going into Thors, going into Hellions behind this. Really trying to put in the big guns, but he is starting to lose quite a bit from these uh, DTs. Oh, man. This is not looking good. Carriers are on the other side, taking out the third base of Cures. They're even getting a lot of those SCPs. Still, there's a lot of Thors and stuff in the main base waiting for their chance to strike. Another base down here at the bottom, but it does look like for the time being, Cure will be able to at least take this base out. Both players struggling to keep everything together as this death ball that Creator has created is slowly starting to push in, but the Thors are here. And they are going to start pushing across with this. <clears throat> Looks like he wants to force a comeback. Oh, he gets a good shot off onto the, uh, the carriers. There we go. 18 SCBs have fallen. Looks like he is going to be able to retake this bottom base. Forces Creator back for the time being. It's just looking so good right now. Hellions coming back up. And right now, I mean, this is really the only mining base for Creator. He is up 116 army to 70. It is looking really good for Creator. While Cure is supply blocked. He's only got, you know, a few Thors here. He's got how many? He's got six Thors. He's got some tanks, he's got some uh, Hellbats, and some Hellions, and some Mines. He definitely has some stuff, but he cannot engage this army directly. Um, really starting to lose out some minerals and stuff on the bottom. Doesn't really have the gas either, so we're not going to see a whole lot more gas heavy coming out from Creator, unless he can take some more bases, unless he can get something going. Um, but, man, Creator is up to, what, six carriers now? He's got five disruptors. He's got archons. He's got a very, very scary army right now. This is nothing to just scoff at. I don't know if these Thors are going to be enough. All right, so there we go. Tanks are going to go down. Thors in the back, trying to focus down the uh, the carriers. We'll be uh, kind of in a weird situation. But here come those Hellions. And again, going to be able to pick off about seven or eight, nine Nine probes. Thus force Creator back for the time being. Gives a little bit more breathing room to cure. But Creator's army is still just a massive disaster for any Terran to have to deal with. And the thing too is like, Cure is ahead with workers. He is very behind in army. Um, and the thing is, is once you get up to this like big carrier count, it is so tough to deal with them. I mean, the AIs and stuff get so messed up. Curator, just looking curator. What the heck? Curator looking really good right now. He's got DTs and stuff in here too. Uh, and even now with the Oracle, he can just kind of like tag the arm and see, you know, any possibility of, of coming against them. I mean, Cure's doing a good job of trying to do these counterattacks and try to force Curator back, but. Oh no, here we go. Looks like Curator going to pull the trigger. Disruptor shots going to land on nothing, essentially. And these, God, these carriers just eliminating these Thors like they're nothing. The blink forward with the Stalkers do come through. Even with the help of the Missile Turrets, does not look like he's going to have enough here. Cure at 31 supply to the 114 here of Creator. We'll end up losing that bottom base. And somehow he is trying to, I guess, play this out. He does have the Hellion and he is getting some damage done, but 22 SCVs for Cure has fallen. GG's. And Creator takes game number one. In the bottom right, in the red, give it up for the Terran. It is Cure. And in the top left, in the blue, it's the Protoss Creator. All right. Oh, geez. So, game number two here in this final series.
I'm excited. If game one is an indicator of how the rest of this series is going to go, I want more. <laughs> I want a game five. I want a game seven. Some really good stuff. I, I love that Cure went for the, the mech style. It's something we don't really see that much. And I think overall it was nice. The big problem or the biggest issue is if the Protoss is able to get up to... Um, if he's able to get up to the Disruptors, it has a very tough time for a mecking Terran to do much because Terrans in general will clump up. Um, I think Kier did a good job trying to split, but again, those Disruptors are just deadly. Um, Crater going into Cybernetic Score does have that expansion this time, and you know, we'll see. Does he go back into that kind of Stargate style? Maybe go into some Oracles. He is going to proxy over here, so it is possible to go into maybe the Stargate. Could see, like, some Immortals. Who knows? Factory on the way. I do have the barracks done. With the CC on the way for Cure. SCV going to get a good scout off. Sees that there's only one gas, so nothing too epic. And it is going to be a gateway, so... It looks very reminiscent of the last series that we saw from Harding. Which Cure seemed to do pretty well at defending. We'll see if maybe Creator Style does a little bit better. He is going to throw down the bunker. And the SCV is looking around. He knows that there is a proxy somewhere. Does not know where it is. Now, unlike Harding... Creator is going to hide his, his proxy a little bit instead of just putting it in the face of Cure. Uh, second gateway does come down, and Creator will eventually go into double adept. Does he go into a triple one, or does he go into a stalker? We'll see. First adept is coming out. We'll at least kind of scan, see what's going around. Tank on the way for Cure. And yeah, so it's going to be more and more adepts. I wouldn't be as surprised if behind this we do see the, uh, the Twilight Council and see him go into Glaives behind this. Um, it seems like right now for Protoss, they're kind of like answered to both Terran and Zerg. It's just like going Stargate Adept, <laughs> essentially. It's strong, it's powerful. I, I don't blame them there, but... Let's see. eBay coming down for the uh, Terran. So he is going to throw down a second barracks, and already we have three adapts. We got the Twilight Council on the way. Yeah, I mean, the tank is now out, but it looks like he might try to get on top of it. He does actually complete the shade. Actually, surprise there. Uh, I think he should have maybe canceled it. Not getting any damage done. He's just walking around at this point. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, not going creators away this game. And now it's like Cure's like, okay, I can just kind of like move out a little bit. There is another adept, but he doesn't have enough. Third base on the way for creator behind this, and yeah, he's just gonna scout this out. He knows exactly where it's at. Yeah, it just gets shut down. It's like I don't think he can really do this to Cure. Like if he scouts you out and sees this. It's just an automatic, like, okay. I know exactly how to defend this, and let's do it. Creator, though, does have the Stalkers on the way. He does have the... He had the Twilight... Okay, there it is. He's got the Twilight Council, but he doesn't really have any upgrades yet, so... There is Blink now starting up. Plus one on the way, as well as Stim. We do finally see that switch after a couple of tanks. More than likely going to go into... Uh, Probably some Widow Mines, I would imagine. Maybe throws in a couple of tanks. It's possible. Stalker's going to be making their way across the map. Does have Blink about halfway finished. You see that robotics facility coming through. The Forge to start getting those upgrades. Nice scan does actually see the robotics facility in the forge. And there's going to be attack coming 
16 Marines making their way across the map. As it does look like Creator wants to go for a big stalker push. Um, it's just going to be really tough. I mean, Cure's pretty solidified here. Maybe he could get into the main and get on top of this tank and kind of force a resiege, but it's going to be tough. Creator is actually going to see this coming, though, with his single stalker. I guess he kind of blinks out of the way. Yeah. Uh, blink's not even done yet. Plus one is on the way as well for Creator, so... He's got about 10 seconds left on Blink, and then maybe he can kind of contend with us a little bit more. Alright, and this adding on additional gateways. Really gonna go into that heavy uh, gateway style tech, especially with plus one finishing up. I imagine we will see the uh, the charge, yeah. We're gonna see charge as a follow-up, but... I don't know, it's, it's interesting. Creator is up 61 to 47 in the SCV probe count. You're going for a third base, so that will allow him to start getting up in there. But obviously, Creator's third base has been up for a lot longer, which will allow him to produce a little bit more, but... Interesting. It's adding on five more gateways. Another attack, and this is where Cure starts getting very dangerous. He's going to see this uh, probe uh, trying to build a fourth base. Nice little pylon. And yeah, Tank's going to be able to start pushing onto this. This gets really tough for Creator from here. Stim does go down. The Stalker's going to have to back up as the tanks do get themselves sieged up. Overcharge does become available now for Creator. You know, the tank's going to get onto the low ground. We'll be able to eventually go into the main base. And Creator really can't get in there without taking pot shots from both sides. He does have the Observer in place, though, so eventually we'll be able to see this. Kind of a wasted overcharge, not really able to use it. And uh, we'll eventually take care of it as well. Ugh. All right, so Cure going to start falling in as fast as possible. GG's. Right, without further ado, in the top left, the Red Terran. It's Cure. And the bottom left in the blue, it's the Protoss Creator. Alrighty, so it is now tied up one to one in this best of five series. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of mentioned it in the last game, but her has played against that build so many times that it feels like he can't lose against it. Like if his opponent goes into that style, it really feels like um, he just knows the answer. He just knows exactly what to do to, uh, to play against this. So, Raider going to be going across the map with his pro. Um, I don't think he's going to proxy or anything this time. I think he needs to play more of a standard style. Um, I think that's going to be good for him. Barracks is down to four. A cure. Aside just the gateway going into probably an expand, more than likely. I would be surprised if he didn't. I'd be interested to see the stats of like how these players like kind of aim up against each other. Because uh, they have played each other quite a bit. We'll see though. CC will be on its way. Um, but it looks like, for the time being, Cure just trying to take care of this pesky probe. And it is actually... I'd say it's delaying, but really... Now it's when it starts delaying. Hey, down 37. That's not bad. It's not really that delayed, I guess. But... Yeah. So... Cure, gonna come in. We'll scout and see that there is that pylon this time, so we'll know. Yeah, there's no proxies. There's nothing too crazy to be worried about. Everything's going to be at home. I don't think we will see a bunker or anything at the moment. Or Aaron. Uh, behind us, he is going to be going into the factory. He does have that reactor, so it's going to be very similar to game number one, where he goes into a couple of Hellions, potentially into the marine or the mines, goes for an attack, and Creator is going to be going into Stargate. So, see another 
crazy Stargate fight coming out from a creator into that like mass void ray with Oracle or maybe even goes into like I guess the Phoenix Adept is kind of what he went into right we'll see we'll see there's gonna be a couple of Hellions Marine on the way Starport is following out as the command center does finish up the Adept going to shade forward and again we'll get denied here Just trying to keep toast. It's going to be Phoenix, so it is really interesting. So if I remember correctly, like Phoenix Adept was a very like PVZ style of play back in like Heart of the Swarm. Um, I think it's definitely had some of its buffs and stuff, so we do see that a little bit more, but. Going to be Widow Mines, and again, it's interesting because every time we've seen Cure go into Widow Mines, Creator has gone into Phoenix, and Phoenix really shut down uh, Widow Mines. I mean, you still have the possibility of getting in and getting some damage, but for the most part, like any drops, Phoenix really shut it down. I mean, they're able to pick up the Widow Mines, they're able to do a lot. Um, he is at three, three Phoenix, so. They're all kind of across the map, or like just on the north side, so he will be able to at least get something done over here, but it is getting scouted, so we'll be able to get across pretty quickly. Here come the Hellions at the same time. Actually forces a pickup with the Hellions. Really good reaction coming out from the Protoss. Still able to get four probe kills, so not terrible. But shutting that down really helps Creator out in the rest of the series. Even the Phoenix is going to be able to get the meta back as he tries to get away running around helplessly. But now behind this, we do have more barracks coming through. This time getting the Cyclone and getting a Raven. Which will help against this counterattack of the Phoenix. No stim as of yet, so these marines are going to kind of slowly follow behind this. We'll at least push things away, but not before a creator able to kill off at least three SCBs. Probably some more here in just a second. Cyclone's out now, which will be able to give chase and kind of eliminate some of the threat. But, oh no, the adapts shading into the natural at the same time. The tank's getting some pot shots off, also damaging some of his own units, and now it looks like the... Adapts will shade in towards the main base as well. Only two are left though, so. At nine SEVs killed. A huge pickup there for Creator, just trying to extend his lead as uh, he's been able to really shut down anything that's been coming towards him. That third base on the way for Creator. I do like this. The Raven, gonna be able to get a couple of kills, forces a little bit of lost mining time. Stalkers though, or no, those are Adepts. I mean, he doesn't get a whole lot of kills, but is uh, again the delayed mining time is really nice. Gives him a little bit of an opportunity. He's Phoenix man, just getting out of control. Third base on the way for Cure. He is going to go finally into that Marine Marauder style. He's got stim. He's got combat shields. Wants to go for another drop, but oh no, oh, no. Colossus on the way. Oh, my God, he's going to scout this, isn't he? He's going to see this. Oh my goodness. He sees it, but I don't think he sees it, you know? Or he doesn't care. Comes back in, gets another four kills. Marines looking for some blood. Additional gateways, find extended thermal lance and plus one on the way for the Protoss. And Terran, I mean... He's just going for, I guess he's just going for the standard stuff. He's going with the plus one. He's trying to get additional barracks, trying to go through. Uh, he is finally building some missile turrets to help with the, the Phoenix. Kind of shut them down from just getting into his main base. 
see. We'll see kind of where he wants to go for this. I mean, the third base here for Creator has been around for a while. He's at 70 workers to 46. And uh, behind this, adding on those additional gates, he's got the uh, the Twilight Council. Where'd it go? Right there. Done. Getting charged. I mean, he's in a very, very good position. Like, even though right now Cure has the, the better army, quote-unquote, This is just looking really good from Creator. Like every time Cure tries to leave, he is forced back to deal with these Phoenix. All right, so he's gonna come in with the Marines. Um, ooh, gets a nice hit there with the mines. Able to kill off a couple. Oh no, gonna lose this medevac. Uh. Oh, he actually gets away. Very skilled, indeed. It does look like now Cure wants to push across the map. He wants to try to get before it's too much. But with already two Colossus with an Immortal and some Stalker or Zealots. I just like saying Stalkers, apparently. Uh, it's going to be very tough. He does look like he's going to go into the main base. The other Medivac going to join forces. And he is going to try to attack where the Protoss is not. Stim does go down. Another attack going to go towards the third base. Trying to pick up some of these uh, Marauders will indeed do so. Clearing up a lot of the Zealots. Going to try to kill off as many of those probes as possible. And now, killing off the Zealots will force a pickup and will move himself out. But at the same time, we do have a nice little attack going across towards the bottom base. There is Storm on the way now for the Protoss and plus two. Another attack coming up here as well. At least a, a tank. Mine's going to go down as the Marines do start pushing in towards this third base. Wants to get on top of a lot of probes here. That right, one stalker does end up falling. These Marines need to get out of the way. There is detection here now, so we'll make it very tough. Okay. He is able to get that now, though. There's another Widow Mine down here. At the same time, another attack going on. 16 probes have been killed off, as it looks like he will finally be able to. Oh, Self-sabotage. And now we see Cure just going back and forth onto this. Who gets the cancel onto the fourth base as well. Looks like Cure wants to go back into the base. There's already a lot of units here, though. Another scan. It's these the army split up. Yeah, he's just going to have to back up. Blink just now started. Crater does not have Blink, which is really allowing Cure to go back and forth and not have to worry about getting, I mean, shut down. This is disaster for Cure, or excuse me, for Creator. He's going into Archons, he's got plus two about to finish up, but so does Cure. I mean, he's got this plus two, yeah, it's about halfway on the shields, but Cure trying to uh, attack down here at the bottom. Another big attack. Disruptors are on the way for Creator. Robotics facility to try to start building this up some more. He's got to be careful. I mean, he's got some mines. He's got a tank and a siege up. Which will allow him to get a little bit more potent into this. But 166 to 122. Creator starting to fall apart here. Plus two weapons is now done for Creator. But his army just having some tough times here. I think he might be able to eventually clean this up. Disruptor shots. Miss. And it will at least force your back. Blink is almost done now. More disruptors on the way. The robotics facility is coming through now. Almost done as well. And these disruptors could be the answer for Creator here. Um, he is behind quite a bit. He is taking a fourth base. And so is Cure. Creator, I mean, I don't know what you do here as Creator. Every time he tries to go out, he's getting kind of multi-pronged here. Another attack going down towards the bottom. The stalkers are going to end up falling. The disruptor going to force the pickup, and now here comes another drop down towards the third base. There's nothing here to defend. Gonna force a pickup. GG's. The cure takes game at number three. All right, guys. Without further ado, here in the bottom right, in the red, from Dragon Phoenix Gaming. Give it up. It is cure. And in the top left, into the blue from Team Envy. Give it up. It is 
Bring eight horror. Alright, so game number four. Barracks coming out from sure. Um I like the change up that cure did. Um, obviously last game we saw that creator win for that style. It was more of a mech outcome. Cure showing that you know he can kind of work around that going into these different drops. And still coming out ahead. It was looking bad for Cure for a while. Just the damage that was able to be done, the, the constant pressure that creator was able to put on to Cure. But after Cure was able to get onto that third base and really just kind of start pushing across it, forced creator in such a defensive position that every time he tried to go across and attack, um, it just was not good to go out. It forced him back. So Cure going to go for an expansion. Looks like Creator going to be doing the same thing. No proxies from either side. Rax proxies, no gateway proxies. Looks like Creator just says, you know what, let's just play a straight up game. I know I can win it as long as we play the way I want to play. Going to take a second gas. You actually see CC coming down. Creator coming across back home. And I mean, what does he really go for from here? We've seen him go into this kind of Phoenix Adept most of the games. And it either works out really well for him or it doesn't. Um, he's going to go back into Stargate. So it looks like Creator will be going into the the Phoenix style. I would love to see him maybe change it up going to like, I don't know, I guess Void is from there. But. The thing is, is like Cure is one of those players that if you do the same build against him, he's going to figure out how to defend it and how to kind of counter it. And we see that so much from him right now. Um, I mean, in the previous game against Parting, where he was able to defend those early like adept pushes to now where it's this kind of um, a Phoenix adept style play. Phoenixes are able to get a lot of damage done, shut down drops. We'll see kind of where he wants to go. It's going to be three racks from Cure. I don't think he sees that either. He has no idea this is coming either. This is about to be very aggressive. Oh, he's going to get in. He's going to scout this. Oh, that's a huge scout for Poor creator, I mean, he's going to see pressure coming in. Of course, uh, Stim is on the way. We're going to see combat shields coming down. This really puts a ticking time bomb now for Cure. Uh, creator going to throw down the robotics facility, adding on those additional gateways, saying, okay, I know there's a lot of pressure about to come. I don't need to expand. I don't need to keep that aggression up, but I need to do something. He's going to send across the Phoenix. He's got the Adept kind of for a... Like scout where my where the army is kind of thing. Go supply depot going down. Just kind of keeping an eye on everything where everything is at. Phoenix, excuse me, the adept will go ahead and shade down here. I don't think he completes the shade though, but he is at least trying to delay cure as much as possible as this huge attack is getting ready to make its way across the map. He's sitting at three Phoenix and going into an immortal behind us. The fourth Phoenix is just now joining the ranks. And this is not looking good right now. I mean, what does he have at home? He's got a couple of stalkers, a zealot, and eventually he's trying to chrono out this immortal. He has to play super defensive here. One shield battery to remain. He's got the Phoenix returning back home. He needs to do defend this somehow. Combat shields and stim now finish up. Overcharge, gonna go down, gets immediately shot down. The Immortal in the back, trying to help deal damage. The Phoenix want to get on top of the Marines to try to help deal with this. The Adept's going to shade in. But the Phoenix out of uh, out of energy. Not gonna be able to lift much else. 
This is getting a lot of damage done. Four, five, six probes will go down. Eventually going to be able to pick up a little bit more here. And we'll be able to eventually hold this off. But eight probes have gone down. Um, yeah, I mean, losing the mortal, the adepts, zealots, everything. Not very good and behind this. We have that third CC coming down. Additional barracks and the starport. As Cure wants to continue to put this aggression, continue to force his opponent uh, in a defensive position. And it's really kind of like this. Okay, you went into Stargate. Let me just uh, counter that. And just keep the aggression. You're going to go into things that just pick up my units. Let me go to things that kill your units. Uh, behind this, we do actually have the, the Colossus on the way, which will be a nice add-on. Especially against things like the Marines. If he can get extended thermal lance going and completed, it will help him out quite a bit against these kind of big attacks. But you're setting up for a huge, huge fight. He's going to go down towards that third base, scans and actually sees it there. But right now, I think the big wait is just these waiting for the medevacs to pop out. He's got two on the way. And uh, I think he just kind of goes across and, and attacks into the main. Um, it is kind of seen, however, in the main base. But now we see the push coming in from Cure down here towards the natural. I'm gonna go up to the main base. Oh no, the Artosis Pylon is alive. Does he shut it down? Doesn't look like it just yet. Able to pick off a couple of Phoenix at least. We'll be able to pick off a Stalker. Eventually the Colossus will kind of clean this up. Doesn't get the third base either, but does get 15, 16 drones. 17. Oh my goodness. Does get 17 probes. A huge pick off there for Cure behind this. Still getting more, uh, more and more units. Gonna do the pain train down to the third base and get that all the way saturated. These Phoenix really not helping out that much. I mean, he might come in here and get like one or two SEVs, but that's really going to be about it. Another big attack. He does have mines now. Extend Thermal Lance just now starting up with plus one uh, is that armor. Ooh, no. Creator moving out. He sees the warp in here. Going to go straight for the Nexus. Four so you go down. Oh. Okay. What do mines do get picked up, which is going to be really nice. There's no detection with this army, so if they were able to get down, that would have been nice. He does get the third base. Picks off five probes in the process. Going to pick up. Go straight towards the natural. At the same time, another drop going in towards the main base. Pure. Starting to pull himself ahead. Going to force another pull in the main base. Oh. Able to shut down the extended thermal lance. He's still got the widow mines in position. <clears throat> gonna shut down all of the production of Creator. And gets out with his other base so far. 14, 15 probes do go down. Try to get on top of the units as best as possible. Able to take out all of the Phoenix at the same time. Uh, the attack coming back down here at the bottom. Just trying to keep Creator supply block for as long as possible. Finally, a new pylon is made. He's gonna be able to warp in some more units here. Creator definitely in some trouble. 150 supply, 276. <clears throat> There's another drop looking to go bound into the main. Oh, another huge hit with the Widow Mines. Oh my goodness. Creator falling apart in the game number four. Trying to add on more gateways, but he doesn't have the economy, he doesn't have the resources. Eventually, the uh, Widow Mines. We'll get cleaned up. Additional Widow Mines, though. GG's. And Cure with the victory.